Hey guys, welcome to the video tutorial for Autoblock. When you first launch the app, you're going to be in the log screen. What you want to do is you actually want to jump right over to the conversations tab. This is the main tab where you want to, uh, you know, go ahead and mark the messages that you want to spam. Uh, so here you're going to notice in the drop down, you have all your, you know, accounts that are set up. So you have your PIN account, you have your SMS messaging account, and you also have your email account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our email account here. Um, so you know you can actually increase the number of messages that you want to uh, that you want to fetch for the app to fetch by just simply using the slider. But just keep in mind that the more messages you fetch, the slower the loading time is. So you want to usually keep this in a, in a relatively low, low number just to get the most recent messages. So let's say we wanted to actually mark one of these messages as spam. It's very easy actually. All you do is you tap on the the message uh, or the messages that you want to mark as spam. So let's say I want to just mark this one as spam. I simply just hit block and that'll automatically just set the sender as spam um, and future messages from the sender will be deleted. Now, what's interesting is some senders, uh, some spammers actually uh, try changing their email address constantly or change their phone numbers constantly and they try to sell you the exact same product. So what the app just did here, when you click on add keywords, it actually looks up, uh, you know, parses some of the, the common keywords that are used for spam and these ones are actually you now are what's shown in this list. So you actually get to pick from here which ones that you actually want to filter out in the future if at any point in time the subject line contains any of these uh, keywords. So let's just say we decide to pick um, awkward and broadcast. These two messages, uh, these two keywords, anytime they show up in the, in the uh, subject list, we want it to automatically mark them as spam. So once you do that, you're going to notice the keywords tab. These, uh, these ones now show up. And also in the broad tab, this sender now shows up. So I'm going to show you something where the you know subject line is going to now contain just these two um, these two words, and automatically the, uh, the you know, even though it's going to be from a different email address than, than the one that's blocked, it'll still the app will still remove the delete the the message and treat it as spam. Um, you also have the threshold here, and this is very important because the threshold is what determines uh, how many words to hit on the subject line before the app actually marks it as spam. So a threshold of two means it needs to at least match two words in the subject line, two of these keywords in the subject line before it marks it as spam. Now this can be even you know awkward, the word awkward twice, or it can be the word broadcast twice, doesn't matter, or it can be both of them together uh, once, and that will uh, mark it as spam. Now if you want to get more aggressive, you can actually bring that up to one, and at any point in time, if at least one of these uh, keywords get matched in the subject line, it'll automatically get uh, get marked as spam. And of course, you can you know increase that as much as you want and play around with it until you get a get a good value. So let's just say we we pick these two uh, values to be our our th uh, sorry pick two to be our threshold. So this is what we do. Um, I'm going to show you now in this demo uh, how the app actually goes about marking these messages. So, so all we're going to do, remember, we have the words awkward and broadcast. So let's just say we have a subject that says casino, awkward, uh, cool, broadcast, yellow, let's say. And it doesn't matter what the body of the message says, but as long as these two words now match up in the subject line, here we go. Uh, we're going to now notice that the app will actually automatically delete that message as soon as it comes in. And you're going to notice that, see, as soon as it came in, the app automatically deleted it. Uh, and see last message block from such and such email address. And you're going to notice also that in the logs, this now shows up. This log shows up that at this time, the message was deleted. If you tap on the message, it shows you more, uh, you know, there was more to the message. It would actually show you more information here. Uh, but as you can see, even though the, the sender wasn't the same, uh, it still blocked that, uh, that message. Now, uh, I'm going to actually now show you how I actually go about uh, removing the entire sender itself. So. If you check in this account here, oh, actually the, the sender was already deleted, right? So what we're going to do is we can actually now um, uh, add, you know, let me try resending another email here. But this time I'm not going to actually include any of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the matching keywords in there. Uh, so you're going to notice that the app is not going to actually delete this, this message because none of the keywords will match at this point. Um, so see, this message comes in but it's not going to get deleted. Now, if I actually want to go ahead and delete this message in the future from the sender, all I do is I have to now refresh my, uh, my email account there. Um, so I simply this, and there's my message, and I want to just simply block this sender. I hit block, and this sender now gets added to the block list. So at any point in time now from now on, any further messages from this guy, uh, 
gets sent, doesn't matter what the subject line is, doesn't matter what the message body is, it will automatically get deleted. And you're going to notice here, um, as soon as this comes in, this new message comes in, it's going to automatically get deleted. And, and you're going to see it's going to be actually very silent, where sometimes you won't even see it in the hub. That's how fast it does it. Um, so let's say, look at the logs, and as you can see, the new message that just that was just sent automatically got deleted. Uh, so it's it's just that silent. It doesn't really uh, do anything. You know, it doesn't alert you in any way or anything. And you know, if if you just ever are curious whether it was blocked, you simply come to the logs and you'll get to see it. Um, and that's really it. That's you know, that's basically the gist of the app. That you know, it just does that. If you wanted to, uh, you know, you want to clear the logs, you can always just clear the logs here. Uh, if you wanted to ever unblock somebody, you simply press and hold on the, uh, the, the the address and you just hit unblock, and that will get rid of it. You can also add custom uh, senders by just hitting block logistics email sender uh, at hotmail.com, let's say, and that will automatically add it there. Uh, you can also add SMS numbers like 1 uh, or something, and that gets added. So anytime an SMS, uh, any of SMS is received from this number, it automatically delete. This one here just signifies how many of the messages from the sender was blocked so far. Uh, so this count is simply uh, one for now. Um, and that's that's really it. Uh, other than that, the only other uh, things you can also do is you can actually add custom keywords here if you want, like uh, casino, let's say. And uh, you know that that will anytime a casino uh, is now another one of the keywords that's going to look for. And you'll also notice that the counts uh, are also how many uh, times that this this keyword was matched and something was deleted due to it. Uh, other than that, there's also something very interesting here in the Conversations tab. Uh, you'll notice that, uh, uh, sorry, in the, in the Conversations tab, you're going to notice that in the, in the future here, um, you can, sorry, not the, the, the Block tab, you're going to notice that, uh, you know, you can actually hit this Update button. And what this Update button does, it actually gets you from our, it syncs up your blocked addresses with our servers and, you know, whoever reported these, uh, these email addresses. Uh, so, and then, you know, you get to pick up on spammers that other people are sharing, other people are reporting. And this way, everybody gets kind of like a free-for-all where, uh, sorry, a, a free buffet of just, you know, any, uh, any of the spammers that are known. And you get to actually just pick, okay, I want to, I think these two should be added to my list. Uh, and then you just simply hit save, and those two just get added to your list, uh, you know, immediately. And this keeps, you know, everybody, allowing everybody to join in on, uh, on sharing the commonly known uh, spammers, uh, just like that. Uh, and really, that's that's really it. There's not really much more to it than that. You can actually, you know, go ahead and unblock all your uh, senders. You can also, if you swipe down from the top bezel, you have your help. Uh, you get to see the help and the video tutorial that you're lo that you're watching right now. You also get your bug reports. If you want to file a bug report or you have some uh, feature requests, you can also file them there. Uh, we encourage you to review the app if you, you know, if you if you like the app, please do leave us a good review. Uh, in the settings, you know, you can actually enable a sound and alert every time something uh, a message gets blocked. Uh, you can do that if you want. And you'll also notice that the app itself is, is headless, right? So if you close the app, uh, you know, and if you, if you simply close the app and you leave the app closed, you'll notice that this will still block messages. So if, no matter what the, you know, whatever subject line I type in. So in 10.2.1, this is the good thing. The app is actually running as a service now. Uh, you're going to notice that the app is simply going to delete the, the message without any any kind of uh, notification and it's just simply running in the background see right there it just deleted the message uh, without any kind of notification or anything so you know you don't even have to keep the app open anymore so you just you, you see the, the message get deleted now and that's really it uh, other than that there's no uh, there's no other uh, there's no other uh, you know caveats or anything to, to the app other than that uh, so you know we, we hope you enjoy it if you have any questions do uh, do let us know at support at candidateinc.org or just uh, file a bug report, and we should be able to help you out. Uh, you know, if you have uh, any other any other issues or anything, do do reach our support team, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the app. I just wanted to make a quick addition here. Um, if you you can also block emails right from your BlackBerry Hub. If you simply let's just say you have this email that you want to block, you press and hold on it, and in the Hub you can actually see the share auto block uh, menu item here. If you simply press on that, that automatically adds it to your block list immediately. And you know, from here on, if you wanted to, uh, you know, obviously set some keywords, you can also add some keywords in there. Uh, and once you hit save, that's it. The uh, card gets dismissed, and you'll notice that the app actually, uh, sorry, the the message itself 
uh, the sender automatically gets added right here. And also the keywords also get added. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a nice convenient way, a uh, nice shortcut of being able to add something right into the app without, uh, without opening the app. And, you know, it's just a much faster way of doing things.